Good morning, Zavarian. This is your morning hop of today's morning announcements. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, and it is a day six. Did you know that over 40% of college freshmen change their major their first year of college? Well, join us tonight for Zavarian's alumni, alumni career night, sponsored by the Zavarian Alumni Association, and learn from Zavarian's own prestigious alumni. That seems to be it for this morning, Zavarian. Have a good one. I think the science program here in the department, uh, the number of classes they've offered me, it's all, it's all stuff I don't know if I could have gotten at a different school. Everyone was all passionate about it, and that's a big thing. That's kind of a trademark of Zavary in whatever class you're in. Well, I've always liked engineering. My dad um, currently is a mechanical engineer, and when I got to Zavarian, all the teachers that I made connections with kind of understood what I wanted to do, and they helped me like set that right track. A lot of things I like about uh, our science curriculum um, is how it's a lot of hands-on activities opposed to other classes where it's straight out of the book learning. Here we get an opportunity to actually put what we learn in class into practice just right away. People get into science because they want to get their hands dirty. So the second I can get out of lecture and know what I need to know in terms of concepts, now I go get to put them into practice in the lab, that's what keeps you coming back. That's what, that's what feeds your science appetite. Yeah, I think a student who has initially not shown a big interest in science, you can get that student's interest level to increase if you can make a really enjoyable lab experience be part of the curriculum. And by having the facilities to make the lab experience enjoyable, I think you might be successful in getting a student more interested in the subject. So what we really looked at when we were designing these spaces is how can we get students to not just work in a group of two? How do we get them to work in groups of four? up to eight, how do we form teams and teach them how to all work together to accomplish a task, to solve a problem. So if you start thinking about, like I said, the lab tables and the collaborative space, the huge fume hoods, the balances they're gonna be using, the dissection equipment, the gel electrophoresis that they're gonna be accomplishing are all gonna be those exact same experiments and equipment that they're gonna encounter when they major in science in college. The science programs here are one of the best in the area and we've worked hard over the past couple years to make it that way. Having our own classroom that's state of the art, that has everything we need um, equipment wise as well as technology wise is just going to expand what not only what we can do as teachers but what students can explore on their own. It's almost like in a sports program, uh, it's almost like it's the varsity science classes and many students do go into a technical, a health field, an engineering field and uh, they're simply going to be better prepared for college work and then for, uh, for job. In terms of preparing for college, uh, these new labs would greatly benefit students as a variant because it'll bridge that gap between a regular high school lab and a college lab. I want to, I want to become a doctor and I think that what I'm learning here at Zavarian is directly applied to the real world and I think that that's something that's really going to help me in the future. I think when we start to think about what we want our students to do when they move on or how we want them to be prepared when they move beyond our walls is we want them to realize that we've given them an incredible body of knowledge here and a lot of incredible experience but with that knowledge and experience comes responsibility and so when they decide to pursue a career in science they might say all right I really enjoyed the biology field and so I'm gonna go into medicine, I'm gonna become a doctor, I'm gonna be a pediatrician or treat disease in third world countries. The thing that ends up being most rewarding is you're giving back to society. And hopefully that is what we are instilling in our students, is this responsibility that yes, you are endowed with great knowledge and great experience, but you have a responsibility to pass that on and do good in the world when you're beyond our walls.